guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Bio Audio. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not new, thank you so much for your continued support. I want to share something very interesting. This outdoor washing machine that our Airbnb has. To me, it's the first time that I'm seeing it. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you just in case you've not seen this before and you can learn something new about what other people do to wash their clothes. I brought some laundry for you guys, <clears throat> just a little bit of laundry and then this is the whole setup right here. Alright, so I just want to show you guys how it works. So, um, quick thing, I think they call this twin tub on YouTube. I started Googling it on YouTube after I saw this and apparently a lot of people already knew about it, already use it. And I'm like, how have I never came across this? So what I'm used to is an indoor washing machine that you just press the starts button and the water automatically comes in and controls how much water it needs to. It washes it and uh, you can select so many settings of things to select. And then after it finishes washing, it, an alarm goes off to tell you ding 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 your clothes is finished and you take the washer clothes out of the washer and then put it in a dryer and do the same thing and some washes have like a washer and a dryer built in one but this one is kind of like a semi automatic manual outdoor washing machine the reason why this is actually good is because it's a warm climate here so you can easily wash your instead of washing by hand this is like a little bit of a step up from that where you have a machine to wash it and then you can dry your clothes here afterwards because it's very hot so you don't need a dryer so you can literally hang your clothes here but this is unique so I want to walk you guys through it the process is manual so we have to get the water in there and all that stuff so let me just take you guys through the step as I'm talking to you guys about it so this is where you wash your clothes and it spins and this right here is what squeezes the water out of the clothes and kind of dries it so there's kind of like two steps here so the first step is to put water in here and you can control it to the level of water that you want so this is the things that's manual so first step here you have to turn this on and then we have to turn on this water knob and you guys see the water is in there. All right, so now while the water is filling up, um, I am going to add a few clothes in there and just kind of go through the whole process. So I think that water is probably good enough. Another reason why this is good is because on the island in Lagos, Nigeria, the water can be dirty sometimes, it can be clean sometimes. So this lets you visually see if the water is clean so you can wash your clothes in it. And then when the water is not clean, you can wait a little bit longer or replace it with the water. So I think visually speaking, it's nice to see what the water is. So you guys can see the water is a little brown, but it's not as bad as it can be sometimes. All right, so that's first step is to add water. So if you have put too much water, you can drain it as well. And let me show you guys how to drain the stuff. So let me close this. You guys see this drain? And then if I, if I move it there, the water would come out of here. So let me move it to drain. You guys see? So it would take the water out of here and it would drain out. So it's like a manual drainage system. Okay, so let me stop this. I think this height is good. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn it into a cycle. So as you guys can see, this is 3 minutes, 6 minutes, 9 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes. So whatever time you put here, that means that's how long you want to wash your clothes for. It will stop as soon as it turns back to zero. So for the purpose of this video, let's put it at 3 and then you guys will see this spinning. So that is how it washes. So I'm gonna put some clothes in here. Alright. I'm gonna 
let it go for like two or three minutes. Or actually, I can put the soap in there now. But you can let it soil a little bit. This is some soap we got at the laundry mall. Guys, so that is step one. You can leave it open as it washes or you can close it and it's gonna keep going till it hits zero. All right. So let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Okay, let me do it so you can see. So I'm gonna move it to zero. So you can see what okay, so if you're done washing, you just put it to zero. I mean, the timer would stop at zero, and then you guys can see the machine stop. So typically, the water does not drain automatically, so you have to drain it automatically yourself. So if you want to drain it, then we have to move poof that nod to drain and then it would rotate. But ideally, you can actually have this rotate while this is draining. So I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna change this to drain. So you guys will see that it's washing and draining the water at the same time. Isn't that cool? And this is just going into the drain system. So, um, you guys can see it's drained the water out, so I'm going to take it away from that. So we have two options. Uh, let me make sure this is right. Okay, so this is step number one. Now, what you can do is you can add more water to this, drain it and, and spin it, or we can use the spin cycle. So that is how you wash your clothes. Now let me take you to the spin cycle here. So this thing spins when you close the door. So how do we, so what it is is you can put your clothes now in here. And you can add water while it, spin, while it spins all the water out and rinses it at the same time. So first step, you're gonna change this to spin. And then you're gonna turn the water on here. All right, you guys can see now the water is going in here. And then if you want it to spin at the same time, you put a timer here, and then you close it, and it should spin. You guys see it spinning? Let me close it. So I think it stops when we open it, but when we close it, it spins. So now it's spinning, and rinsing at the same time, and it's putting the water out at the same time. So we're doing a three-step process where we have the water going in, we have the stuff spinning, and then we also have the water going out <laughs> at the same time. All right? So I'm going to turn off the water, and now we're just gonna spin for like five minutes to drain the water out. So now I'm, I shut off the water valve, and I'm just gonna spin only right now. So now it's spinning. I'm going to let it spin for like 5-10 minutes or so. You guys can hear it. Let me show you guys real quick. Let's see if we can capture the spin. Woo! Look at how fast that is. So yeah. So it it's actually can get really dry. So what it does is it squeezes the water out. It keeps spinning. It keeps spinning. It gets all the water. And then... After a while, I'm gonna put it and then we're just gonna hang it up. So, let me get one of the clothes out. Ooh, it's fast. All 
All right. So, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> look, guys, look, it literally like squeezed. Let me see if there's water in here. <laughs> there's literally, that's how quick it spins it. So now since it's hot, if you want to air dry it, you just pick one of these uh, uh, place here. And just to prevent wind from blowing out your clothes, you put this here, and you put this here, and you wait, and you dry it up. That is how you wash a clothes semi-African style. Typically, we usually use our hands. But now we have a step up in technology where you can still be outside, you can still wash, you can still do a lot of manual tweaking intervention, and you can still dry your clothes outside in the beautiful sun. It would save you money on light, for sure. Um, on electric and uh, you can use natural solar power to dry your clothes. I just wanted to share this experience with you for if you ever come across this machine you would know how to use it. It's apparently just new to me. Apparently a lot of people know about it. I think it's called the twin tub machine. But anyways this is one of the new things that I've learned on my trip coming to Lagos, Nigeria or just traveling in general. There's always going to be a different way of doing things or different things that you've never seen or explored before. So I just wanted to take you guys on a journey. Thanks for doing laundry with me and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like more content like this. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.